Hello Warfighters, War is Hell, welcome to the next episode of what could have happened had the August coup gone differently and there was a Soviet civil war. We've got a very important episode ahead of us, so let's go ahead and get to the briefing. Now as you can tell from the title, this is called Soviet Defector Oleg Baklanov, who is one of the members of the Gang of Eight, or the group that's uh, part of the coup, is looking to defect. After contacting the United States, a meeting was set up here in Gerendorf to try and get him across the German border. Now he has not shown up at the designated time. We've waited, haven't heard anything at all. Now here near Ratzlingen, we've uh, heard that someone has been captured who is looking to defect, so we're suspecting that it is Baklanov. Now, what we're going to be doing is having Delta Force cross the German border to try and get across and see if this is our target. Based off of the communications, it sounds like this person is important. So this red or uh, blue circle that you can see right here is the area where we believe that he might be. So we're going to insert near there and try to see what we can figure out. Now, Baklanov is there. We're going to go ahead and pick him up, extract him as quickly as possible, and try and get out of there, hopefully without the East Germans knowing that we're here. We know full well that this could escalate the situation, especially with all the talk that uh, has been coming out of the Soviet Union about this being orchestrated by the West. If this goes bad. This could just further uh, some of the things that they are saying in, as I said, escalate the conflict. So we're gonna have to be very careful about how this operation goes. But if we can get back with all, that's gonna be helpful for us and really help uh, maybe kind of turn the tide here for what's happening in the Soviet Union. It's kind of a big deal, of course, that he is defecting. I, I think he kind of sees uh, the situation really getting out of hand in the Soviet Union and just trying to get out of there. It's kind of what I'm expecting here. But anyway, we are on the ground and just kind of waiting for everybody else to get out of the chopper now that the chopper is away we're gonna start moving into the trees nearby and get to that position that you saw in the briefing earlier where we expect him to be now, since we're on the move and we're gonna get into those trees I'm gonna have everybody hold fire I don't want us to engage anybody unless it is absolutely necessary we've got just about a or, uh, we've got a squad with us here. I didn't want to bring too many forces in here, but we do have some assets available to help us out if we kind of get caught in a pickle. Now, we can get extracted at any time just by having the helo cross the border again. Now, the part of the border where we did cross was uh, intentionally uh, void of any guards, kind of uh, help bribe them to uh, make sure that the area was clear for uh, Baklanov. Come across the road, not seeing anybody. We're good. But even though we got some of the guards to kind of ignore the area, there's still a threat obviously to us too because we couldn't you know, cover everybody here. Now I'm loving this map. This is the map by the way from Global Mobilization. Uh, so you can see like the the wooded area just looks amazing. Oh, seeing smoke up ahead. Okay, knowing that we've got something up ahead, we're going to get formed up in a line. And then I'm going to have everybody crouch as we get a little bit closer. And then maybe even go prone. Okay, so we're going to crouch here, not knowing exactly what's up ahead. Okay, everybody's looking good on the left and the right side. Just keep watching front. I feel like there's something just right up ahead beyond what I'm seeing here with the smoke. Just got to make sure there's no patrols here in the woods. That's what I'm worried about. With us kind of being in a line focused, obviously, directly what's in front of us, I got to make sure that nobody's creeping up on the side. That looks like that might be a truck up there. Like the canvas that goes around the top. Okay, now they're calling targets here. Okay, so let's go prone and kind of move up a little bit more cautiously now. Once we kind of get up here, we should get a good look on what's going on. And hopefully we're not going to be spotted 
by whoever is up here. Okay, still nothing yet here for me as far as spotting anything visually. Was it 10? Collins, I think, was the one who, who spotted something. Could be completely wrong, of course, though. I think right here we might see the ground kind of dip a little bit. So this will probably be the best point for me to kind of take a look at what is up ahead. Kind of go left of the tree. Yep, 10 spotting something. Okay, so now everybody off to my right, since I've got eight now calling out some stuff. Yep, that was a truck. Got forces on the left, directly in front of me too. You've got somebody sitting down and on the right. Oh, we've got two guys on patrol here. Now, what we're spotting is a Soviet vehicle that is on fire and a couple Soviet soldiers who have been killed. Now, this could be the driver of Baklanov. Well, that German intelligence officer who is there too is probably trying to interview the border guards and figuring out why they fired and killed them in here. But uh oh, they spotted us. All right, got everybody opening up. We're gonna try and take out these guys as quickly as possible. I'm just trying to run, but it's not really good. Okay, they're engaging somebody over here by the by the car, but couldn't spot him. Okay, it's gone quiet. I think we took everybody out. All right, let's move up. Now, I'm not seeing Baklanov here. Yeah, let's go over here and take a look. Yep. One dead Soviet, two dead Soviets, but nobody that looks like he's a member of the government. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the town. That's probably the logical place that they would have taken him. Okay, so we're going to move down this road. We're going to try and stay inside of the... The trees again for cover, so I've got everybody in a wedge. One of the downsides with that engagement is chances are there's going to be some forces coming this way. So I'm still going to be on edge here, watching out for anything that might be coming from the town directly in front of us. Might send some reinforcements or, or somebody up here. Man, I wish they wouldn't have spotted us. I was hoping to do a little bit more uh, stealthy here than that. But since they know we're here, might as well use some of the assets that we have if it comes down to it. Okay, so there's the town. Let's get out the binos and see if we can spot anything that might lead us to believe that Paklinoff is in here. I'm not seeing anything anybody I've got a visual truck oh Half a we're spotting a truck contact infantry 800 meters in infantry got an enemy truck. oh yep okay we're gonna try and take out these trucks North. oh they're gonna try and blow right on past maybe no this is not going to work Okay, this guy's stopping right here. East German's getting out in the back. Reload, wait for him to come again. I ain't gonna fire in there. Okay, where's this other truck? <laughs> it's like... Okay, these guys are clear. It's perched up on that tree. Back wheel's been taken out. Oh, so is the driver. That's why it's still moving forward. Gosh, most of the guys in the back were killed before they could even get out. Okay, so now they definitely know that we are here. 
try and set up and, and get into town. Now, based off of the forces that we've got, we're going to call in one of the assets that we have here, which is an F-15E. So flying overhead, it's going to potentially drop some bombs. So let's wait and see how many of these guys are going to come out of the town. And if it is a significant force, that's really going to lead us to believe that, that Backlinoff is there. There is an open field between us and the enemy. So we're going to try and leverage that as much as possible. Now, the downside is we've got to cross that field too to be able to get to the town. So even though we're going to try and use this to our advantage as much as possible, the downside is enemy's going to get the advantage for a little bit when we try to cross. I don't know. We might push at the same time. I'm going to move along the left side. It seems like we have just a slight bit of defilade that we can use. Oh, really not that much, actually. Well, at least on the left side, I've got these trees and bushes that I can use for cover as I move up. Yeah, there's a good amount that's coming from the town. Alright, drop that guy. Yeah, they're pushing to me. Oh. Taking some fire from directly up ahead. Alright, guys, come on, let's move. Don't want them to get all, like, bunched up right there with all these guys firing at us. Alright, just try and take some shots. It's hard, obviously, to be able to hit them without any type of optics, but that's okay. Just got to move up a little bit closer. Again, using some of these bushes and trees for cover. Question is, is everybody else moving up with me, too? That's, that's the frustrating part. Nope, they're not. Okay, at the very least, I will use this to bandage myself up. And then we're going to call the position for the F-15E to start dropping some bombs. Now, fortunately, we've been able to pull the East Germans outside of the town. So any bombs that we do end up dropping are not going to fall on, on civilians, hopefully. But just kind of out here in the open. Got him, too. Not bad. See him getting the hang of it. Come on, guys. Move up on me. I think I can hear it. Maybe not. Come on, F-15, I need you. This would be perfect. Like, if you saw uh, just a little bit ago on the map, just how clumped up they are, one well-placed bomb right there is going to take out a significant chunk of them. You know what? Oh, well. Let's move right a little bit. Okay, got him. We've got somebody who's using the poles for cover. Stay low and just move up a little bit at a time. Name of the game here. Okay, at 200 meters, these guys are a lot closer. Should be easier for me to hit him at this range. Haha! -ha. There he is! Okay, once he gets into a good position, he'll drop a bomb. That'll be a good chance for us to kind of charge up there, too. See if I can hit anybody or at least draw some fire my way. Yeah, it looked like there was a group of them that were over there. Somebody else is kind of running right to left. Reload again. Yep, I still see him running. I thought I could see him running just a little bit. Come on, man. I need that bomb to drop. Stay 
Right, we're gonna get everybody kneeling. Let's open up on them. We definitely have fire superiority right here. Get that bomb to drop. Still didn't drop the bomb. Okay, somebody's prone right there. right here that's really hard to do All right, that guy's falling back a little bit okay this might be the pass here where he comes around and drops that bomb but we're not taking any fire so let's just move up here just in case if he does drop that bomb we can exploit the opening that it provides yeah the guys I could see here just prone that guy's dead Ooh, just missed that guy got him too oh guy on the left side of the road's been dropped okay gotta be careful that this f-15 is gonna just drop a bomb here right as i move up Yeah, back it up. Oh, this might be it. There we go. I'm glad it was the left side of the road that ended up getting hit. He's still pushing. Where'd that shot come from? It's going to be another one. Nope. Ah, perfect. That guy's still moving with me. Always worried that they're going to get slowed up. Get stuck or something like that. Okay, going to take a wide left here around the position that had a bomb dropped on it not that long ago. Okay, I think we're going to have a good chance to be able to get into the town. Now, the forces that ended up coming out of the town, we've eliminated them, but there could very well be forces inside too. Now, if they're at different parts of the town or kind of grouped together, maybe that'll give us a good indication of where Baklanov might be. But um, if they do have him hostage, it's just a matter of just trying to get to him call in extract and get out of here with him too so really the situation hasn't changed too much except now i think we've kind of narrowed down where he might be oh movement front okay find a good position here or at least see where that guy's going Don't like just walking through the open. Oh, we got forces on the road here. Now they've got their eyes on the F-15, which is good for me because that serves as a distraction. Me to take these guys out. Cool. Okay, what are my guys looking at? Oh, perfect. Dropped him. Is there more over there? No idea. I mean, having taken around, get patched up and keep moving. Soldier, seventy-five meters front. Move one hundred meters front. They're still firing along the left side of the road. Okay, I'm gonna just move up with him. We're gonna be battle buddies here for a little bit. Question is, what do we got around here? Okay, setting up here, not seeing anybody. They're engaging somebody over here on this right side. Oh, there he is. Another guy who seems distracted by the fighter. 
still hear him above too, which is pretty cool. Is that somebody right there? That's hard to tell. Take a shot at it and see what it does. Ah, it falls down dead. Surprised I spotted him. All right, moving out in the open. Gonna move to this little shack right here. Don't see anybody. Oh wait, one guy's down. His RPG was what gave him away. On his RPG seven. Return to formation. Let's get everybody back on me here. Okay, once we get everybody together, we'll move out. Get a little bit more. It's really just been sporadic enemy forces. I haven't seen anybody group together in a type of like formation or in a setting where it seems like that they're defending a particular area. Minus just the city as a whole. Oh, directly up front. Got him. Just moving with the sway. Okay, let's get up to this shed in front of us. The the brown and white one right here. Right side looks clear. Figure my battle buddy's got the left side of the road. Okay, use this for cover here while we wait for everybody else to move up. Okay, just waited here. Everybody's moved up. Sounds like we're still taking some fire from forces in front of us. I'm wondering if I've missed out on something too. Like if they're engaging maybe a concentrated force, but I'm just not able to see from the position that I'm at. So we kind of move up here a little bit more and get everyone else. Okay, I don't see if he's engaging. We've got these foes right in front of me that are blocking my view. This is dangerous moving out in the open, so I'm just going to hug the wall. Okay, everybody else is starting to move up here a lot quicker with me, too. Take a look over here. How's the right side looking? Right side's looking good. Oh, hostile in front of us. Didn't see me. Oh, somebody's out there. On that corner. Oh, we've got two of them, so let's get this reload in. Peek our head around again. I thought there was somebody out there. Huh. I guess maybe he got dropped by somebody else. There we go. How is that missing? There we go. Three-round burst was making the... Oh! I oh, was not expecting to see that guy right there. Get another reload in, and then I might just switch back to just one round instead of the three round burst. What's your position? Okay, how are we looking? I feel like I've just done a giant circle. Don't see anybody over by that gas station. Let's move up a little bit more. Oh, we got two guys right there. Use this telephone booth for cover. Yeah, this will work perfectly. We just shoot through it. Perfect time. Okay, still on three rounds? No, no. Cool, two guys down, but you can see my guys are firing at somebody else here. Move 75 meters, front. Okay, let's get everybody up here to this next intersection. I'll kind of cover this while they move up. Unless they don't want to move up there. Okay, maybe not. Come on, guys. Yeah, we're all here. Copy my stance. Let's just get everybody moving the right stance, which it looks like they were. I guess they're still crawling and everything because they're expecting to find somebody. Who knows, maybe there is somebody on the map that I've missed. You know, like uh, that guy. I think that's him. Okay, he's down. Yeah, he was right at the corner of that fence. 
Okay, maybe that. Uh, dang it! Please don't get stuck in that building. Okay, they're moving up, so Waiting. I think we're good. Okay, I'll move up too. AT soldier, two hundred meters front. Okay, we'll have to take a look to the left here at this intersection. So we got two guys firing that way. Looks like they've dropped whoever it was. I think that's the second civilian vehicle that I've just seen out in the road. Okay, gotten up to the, where these guys are, the, the two that were firing at me, who I was not expecting to see. Nothing here kind of gives me any indication of our target. Let's just fire blindly, hopefully we'll hit somebody. As long as it's not back went off, I guess I should say I shouldn't be firing blindly. We're just about to the last set of buildings here in this direction. Gotta find a good spot to get over. Let's get over right here. Okay, more fire off to the left. I'll let 11 take care of that one. Maybe even nine. Oh, dang. Two guys up there at the church along the fence. Can I move a little bit more to the right? Oh, perfect. Yeah, we've got a good group around here. Two. Oh, truck. Oh, yeah, this has got to be an area here. We got to check out. Got him, even though he's hiding behind the vehicle. We'll get everybody moved up here. I'm not in a good spot, I think, to hit that guy. Did I get him? Oh, never mind. I see him. That was tough to spot him, but he was actually farther to the right from where I was shooting. I'm not hearing any fire coming from there now. Let's go investigate the church. See what we could find here. Again, I think we've taken out Fall back. Um, everybody on this side. Might have to just swing around and see what we've got on the other side. Of course, when we try and go in here. Okay. Oh, man. That guy was just sitting there waiting for me. Peek. Hoping I can get him to reload or something. Oh, he's going to come up and probably take him out. Okay, we've got him. You know what? Let's go in. Take a look. Oh. There he is. We got Backlin off. Okay, so I'm going to untie him, and then he should be moving with us. So as soon as we get him freed, I'll get on the radio. We're going to go ahead and call for extraction. It's going to take some time for the helo to get here. wanted to make sure that it was on the West German side for as long as possible. No, I can't use this for cover. Got to be careful. I mean, enemy was already using this church. But if I can at least avoid using it, that'd be helpful. But dang, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Because we've got forces that are coming in now. Like these reinforcements consist of, as you can see here, the BTR. We've got some, some trucks coming in that are loaded with troops. And we've got a rush to get to the helo. Now the helo is going to land behind us, which is to our north, but we've got to try and get there quickly because as these guys are rolling in, it's not going to be a good position for us to be in because we've got limited AT and we're again going to be heavily outnumbered. So this is what I was talking about. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid using this church because the bell tower up at the top is really going to give me a good vantage point to be able to see who is coming our way and how many are, are coming. So as we're kind of prepping this defense and also trying to figure out 
when the helo is going to be here, uh, this vantage point is going to be absolutely critical. What I might do too is if I see a lot of enemy, I might call a machine gunner up here or one of my automatic riflemen to help man this. Because really it's a matter of, I don't think we're going to uh, be able to stop all the enemy that are coming this way, but hopefully we can slow them quite a bit. Slow them enough for the helo to get here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and bring Collins up here. Ten, move left. Perfect. Okay, what do we got? Not seeing anything. Oh, dang it. They've already unloaded. They're in town. Okay, let's just open up on them again. We're just trying to slow them up here. Not returning fire or anything, but they they know that they're taking some kind of fire. I don't think it'll take them too long to realize that it's me in the the bell tower. Oh, nice, got him. He was firing on him, and I I'd expect some fire to be coming back my way. Got some of the guys down on the street level. Kind of getting a defensive line set up here for the forces that are coming from this way. Should probably try and conserve ammunition, but I think I still got a good chunk left. Oh, what's that? Oh, I can hear the helo. It honestly got here a lot faster than I thought it was going to. Yep, it's up there behind us. Oh, and he's brought a friend with him, too. Okay, let's get everybody into the UH-60. Guys, get the Blackhawk. Okay, so Collins is going to leave here. I don't think he even fired around, even though this is like a machine gunner's dream being up here. All right, time to reload. Let's take a look. Okay, he is going down the ladder. Just a few more shots. It's time to pack up and get out of here with everybody else. You can see... There's some fire being shot down onto the town, too. Okay, I'm going to rely f with, uh, for the other guys in Delta to get Baklanov all packed up. And on the bird, that's not going to be something that I am necessarily going to have to do. So it's just a matter of me trying to get to the helo quick. Get down these stairs. Go through through the, the cemetery here. Perfect. All right, so we're going to make it to the chopper and we're going to get out of here with Backlinoff. So this is a successful mission. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. So like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe for more because we've got more of this series to come later on. Almost didn't make it in time, but that's okay. Uh, if you guys are able to drop a few bucks to help support the work that I do here on this channel, you'll find a link to the Patreon in the description below, as well as a link to the Discord. So if you want to join in on conversations about the videos uh, that you see here, the military, whatever you want, that's the place to go. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I sure do appreciate it. War is hell. You don't have to worry because, Warfighters, I've got your six.